The AI revolution explodes. Billions pour in, stocks skyrocket over 120% in just a few months, and then crash. Your portfolio bleeds red as tech giants tumble. But what if this market blip isn't a disaster? It's your golden ticket. Today, we dive into the epic showdown between two AI infrastructure titans, Coreweave and Nebius. Both are up massive year to date. Both partner with NVIDIA, both promise to power the future. But which one survives the storm? Which one dominates? Stick around because by the end, you'll know exactly where to place your bets and it might just make you rich. Coreweave's stock plunges 50% from its highs. Nebius follows suit, down 78%. Investors panic, selling low like weak hands in a poker game gone wrong. But hold on, is this the bottom or just the beginning of something massive? Let's zoom in on the chaos. Coreweave hits rock bottom at $85 this morning, claws back to 91 by close and surges to 93 after hours. Nebius dips to 62, finishes green and climbs another 1% post-market. Charts scream volatility. Core weave down 20% in five days, Nebius not far behind. This isn't random, it's the AI market's wild ride. Compute demand explodes. There's just not enough power for all the AI dreams out there. These companies step in, partnering with NVIDIA to build data centers that fuel everything from chat GPT to self-driving cars. But here's the drama. Investors like you try to time it, selling at the dip, only to watch prices rebound. Remember that guy who dumps at 62, then buys back at 70? Heartbreak. Emotional investing strikes again. Fear grips, greed blinds. So, what's the fix? Well, long-term vision really does triumph. You have to ignore the noise and build a solid thesis. Core Weave and Nebius, they're not just stocks. They're actual solutions to the compute crisis. NVIDIA, you know, backs them hard, making sure they get the latest GPUs first. Patience pays off. These little blips in the market can turn into big bounces and honestly, weak hands just end up as regretful spectators. Control your emotions, invest for the horizon and just watch as opportunities unfold. But wait, what if, you know, one company's debt load turns this rebound into an absolute nightmare. Core Weave is piling on billions in loans, while Nebius, well, they're playing it a bit safer, for now. So, which one is the ticking time bomb? Now, enter the valuation battlefield. We pull up those forward EV to sales ratios. That's enterprise value, accounting for both debt and cash. Core Weave trades at just over seven while Nebius sits at nearly 15. They actually used to mirror each other until mid-July, when the divergence hit like a plot twist. Coreweave looks cheap, undervalued, practically screaming buy. But dig deeper. Coreweave builds 33 data centers worldwide, harnessing 470 megawatts active and 2.2 gigawatts contracted. That's a massive backlog, fueling growth. NVIDIA loves them. First to deploy GB 300 NVL 72 systems on July 3rd. Partnerships with OpenAI and Google? Check. Revenue backlog up 86% year over year, projecting $12 billion this year, $17 billion next. Market cap at $44 billion. That's a steal on price to sales. Yet, tension escalates. Debt soars to $7.5 billion, cash burns fast, interest expenses eat profits. No free cash flow positivity here, it's leveraged to the hilt. One AI hiccup and it crumbles like a house of cards. Insiders hold strong. CEO owns 11.7%, no mass selling post IPO lockup. Even Magneta Capital dumps just 1.5 million shares out of 95 million. Stable, for now, but the stakes rise. If AI demand falters, that debt becomes a noose. Balance the scales with smart strategy. Core weaves NVIDIA. Favoritism and global expansion mitigate risks. Their model works, GPUs depreciate over five to six years, but A100s from four years ago still rent out. Multi-year contracts with prepayments lock in revenue. 
For investors, this means opportunity valuation suggests upside. Dollar cost average in, especially now, undervalued gems shine brightest in dips. Now, shift gears. Nebius seems pristine, with cash reserves and software edges. But is their favorite child status with NVIDIA a myth? And what happens when they load up on debt to compete? Nebius mirrors the mission, but, well, twists the tale. Their data centers now span across Europe, and they're set to expand into New Jersey and Finland by, hmm, 2025 to 2026. Right now, they've got 220 megawatts connected and over one gigawatt already contracted. Those cool Icelandic climates really do keep things efficient. Earnings? Absolutely exploding, group revenue is up 106% quarter over quarter and a staggering 625% year over year. They're sitting on plenty of cash and importantly, they're less leveraged than Core Weave, at least for now. Nebius isn't stopping at just bare metal GPU rentals either. They're stacking AI software solutions for higher margins. Add-ons like AV Ride for autonomous vehicles and equity stakes in companies like Clickhouse and Taloka which could turn into potential multi-baggers in AI. NVIDIA partnership? Absolutely. Nebius is actually among the first to get their hands on Blackwell Ultra. Still, if Core Weave is the golden child, Nebius is more like the reliable sibling. Their balance sheet really shines. They've got ample cash and minimal debt. But here's the midpoint revelation. That edge erodes fast. To seize market share, Nebius ramps investments, debt climbing inevitably. Bulls cheered their clean slate, but growth demands leverage. Ecosystem diversity, software, AV investments adds texture, blending suspense with wonder. Yet if compute demand drops, unsold inventory piles up, pricing crashes. Both companies teeter on the AI boom's edge. One slow down and it's a poop show, as they say. Embrace the hybrid power. Nebius's software layer boosts margins, diversifying beyond pure infrastructure. Global expansions and NVIDIA access position them for wins. Investors, if Nebius pulls back more, pounce. But right now, valuation favors CoreWeave, $16 billion market cap versus CoreWeave's $44 billion, yet Nebius trades richer. Low dollar cost average into Nebius for safety, medium into CoreWeave for growth. Both can win. Pick based on risk tolerance. I like both if forced core weave now, but Nebius on dips. The market's blip isn't doom, it's your entry. There you have it, the dramatic saga of core weave versus Nebius. Remember, long-term investing conquers volatility, control emotions, build theses, and the AI future rewards the bold. If this fired you up, smash that like button, subscribe. Stay invested, stay dramatic. See you next time.